Hello, today I'm going to show you some of the trickier bits of building the trombone player. Okay, on page 9, stage 3, um, you've assembled some of the parts onto the drive shaft um, and when you've allowed enough time for glue to dry, just turn that um, from the back and make sure that everything is, is free and, and smoothly turning. Before you go on to put the next, um, the next pieces on, make sure you put lots and lots of wax on, on this wheel here. The reason being that once you've got the rest of the components on, you just won't be able to access it. So you can't do this retrospectively. So really, really put loads and loads on because you want this part to move very, very smoothly. And you can even put a bit on the inside as well just to be belts and braces about the whole thing so then you can put that on there some glue on the surface of the cam plenty of glue and put the next piece on line it up with the first one and then you see this piece is completely captured uh, within the wheel uh, which would make it difficult to wax it after the event. Um, so there we go, we can be certain now that that is going to run smoothly. By stage 14, on page 16, you'll be putting the body and the stool onto the base. And I suggest you do this without glue to start with, just to do a trial run. So the peg at the bottom of the lever will be going into the block down below. And the instructions suggest that you measure 9 millimetres from the back of the base. So if you just put a little mark there to guide you. And put the back corner of the stool on that mark. And then just turn the handle gently. And you can see that this peg is rocking backwards and forwards with um, equidistant from the centre of that arched piece. If you take it too far forward, that peg is going to knock on the front there and restrict the movement. If you take it too far back, the peg will overshoot on the back side. So it's finding the sweet spot. It's finding the absolutely best place um, for that stool to sit, which helps the lever and the peg move in the best way freely at the top there. So once you've confirmed that you've got your mark in the right place, you can then go ahead and glue the bottom of the stool and you can glue the peg into the block below. At stage 22, you can start by putting the pieces on without glue. The lower arm, the upper arm, and then the forearm bit holds it all together. So at that point, you can just turn the handles gently and make sure that the bicep is doing its job. Once you're happy with that, you can then put the two spaces on under the shoulder, on the elbow, and a blob of glue on the outside of each. And leave it to dry. At stage 28, we finally put uh, the rest of the trombone instrument together and make sure you wax the ends of these dowels really, really well. And plenty of wax on there. And then one end will go through the head and the other end will go into the other part of the trombone. So make sure that there is no impediment to that slide. And then once you're happy with that, you can secure with the little peg that goes through the hand and turn the handle gently and try it. And then put a blob of glue either side of that peg to 
to make sure it's safe in place.